The much awaited first list for the BJP is out here for Telangana. This is going to be a massive elections and preparations ahead as it's going to be a battle between the BRS, BJP as well as the Congress. I'm here with senior BJP leader Arvind Dharmapurisa. Thank you so much for speaking with us. First of all, the first list is out. It's been a most awaited list. Everybody's eyes were on the BJP and the candidates that were chosen. Uh, what do you think is going to be the strategy going ahead for the BJP? Uh, my major strategy would be Mr. Modi, his schemes, his development-oriented governance for the last nine years, his farmer-oriented, his poor-oriented, the number of schemes, especially the world's largest uh, health insurance scheme, world's largest housing scheme. These are all the promises, few of them which were made in the manifesto, few were not even spoken about. So everything was, is implemented. So his charisma, his governance, his, <clears throat> all his achievements will be our driving force for the election in Telangana. So the first list is out. When can we expect the manifesto to be released shortly? Because, you know, it, it's going to be a do or die situation for the BJP here. Manifesto should be out uh, any moment. So, uh, Mr. Kishan Reddy would be able to tell you exactly. So, it is going to be a very poor friendly, farmer friendly, youth friendly, NRI friendly manifesto. So we are all waiting for it. So uh, once it's out, it will have a big impact on the election. So the cat is out of the bag. Politics right here still continues to remain the same. You know, the BJP saying the Congress and uh, the BRS are twins together. The Congress saying the BJP and the BRS are twins together. What is the BJP stand? Look, I just don't uh, make any acquisitions and all. In 2014, one-third of the elected Congress MLS shifted to TRS. In 2018, two-thirds out of 18, 12 of them shifted to TRS. In fact, the Congress Legislative Party merged into TRS in 2018. So it's been one-third, two-thirds, and now we don't know how many. In 2004 also, they had an alliance together. Mr. KCR was part of UPA government. So the, it is nothing new for them to ally pre or post election. This is a historical fact. So how would anybody deny this? Right. TRS and BJP never stitched their alliance together. Neither their MLA were poached by us, nor our MLA was poached by them. So we don't have any kind of historical alliance or any kind of political relationship. Sir, uh, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, alliances and political relationships of political parties here in Telangana. One thing I want to state, you know, the BJP is first list out. We have strong leaders from the party who are going to be battling it out against the BRS leaders, be it Itala Rajendra against uh, CMKCR or, uh, you know, uh, leaders like Raja Singh and several others. The strategy of BJP looks to be strong and vocal leaders uh, who are going to be fighting it out. Do you think this is going to uh, be in favour for the BJP? Of course, we are all battling it out to form the government here. The people of Telangana also want a Modi kind of governance here. Absolutely, they are. Telangana is fed up with the arrogant, corrupt family rule of uh, Kalvakuntlas. So they are ready to throw them out of power and they are looking forward a clean governance under Modiji's leadership with the Bharatiya Janata Party chief minister and his cabinet in place. Sir, so one side the BJP is very confident that uh, you know it's going to come into power. On the other side, the BR is there. Senior leaders, including KTR and Kavita, are uh, you know stating that this kind of hatred, self, I mean hatred and speeches that are being done by BJP is not the kind of governance, be it either at the state or the centre. In fact, they also go on to state that the BJP has hardly any numbers and that they're going to win, including you know lack of deposit also in the elections. It is very surprising that Ms. Kavita is talking about BJP's presence here. I think she's got very bad memory. She should quickly realize she lost to a Bharatiya Janata Party candidate very badly. And she, whenever she would contest, if so she would contest, she would lose with a bigger margin next time. So, <clears throat> on the other hand, Bharatiya Janata Party in Telangana is bound to form government. We are going to, especially we are going to sweep the northern part of Telangana and comfortably we should sail through the numbers required.
KTR says there's no strategy for BJP, neither are they going to come inside. Uh, yeah, yeah, hate speech. Now, I don't remember any Bharatiya Janta Party uh, prominent leader giving any kind of hate speech or any kind of controversial communal statement. On the other hand, why, do, why doesn't KTR answer to a question, why are you giving 10 lakhs to a Dalit? under Dalit Bandhu scheme, which is a good scheme and we all want all Dalit families to receive it. On the other hand, why are you giving only 1 lakh rupees to Muslims under, under the name of Muslim Bandhu scheme? I mean, even backward classes, they are extending 1 lakh support. Why is there this kind of a differentiation between a Hindu and a Muslim? None of Modi ji schemes differentiate on communal basis, religious basis or caste basis. Now, who is doing religious politics here? Your, your administration is creating a difference between religions and a vast difference. Why are you leaving Muslims with a 9 lakh less support? You think Muslims are economically well-to-do compared to Dalits? Or you think uh, Muslims' population is very low? I don't think so. Both of them are around 15%. And equally, uh, Muslims are equally economically backward. So how do you justify this? Your governance it's, uh, itself, uh, there is a discrimination in and, uh, between religions. So you have to come out clean on this. Sir, the Congress, uh, last question to you, the Congress there is stating that just like in Karnataka, we are also going to be sweeping uh, here in Telangana. Uh, you know, the BJP leaders don't have a chance. The BRS is, uh, income, uh, you know, anti-incumbency is very high against them. They have lost deposits in all the recent by-elections. GHMC, I, I cannot see one corporator, uh, Congress winning one corporator seat. In uh, my segment, my parliament segment, Congress is going to stand distant third in all assemblies. And if they are having hope in hell, God bless them. Thank you. That was senior leader there, Avindar Mapuri, who clearly states that, yes, this is going to be a massive win for the BJP in Telangana and that neither the BRS or the Congress are any competition in terms with the BJP. With video journalist Vicky Apurvajay Chandran, India Today.